Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the 790 Adventure once again. By the way, I really like this Ergo seat. If you guys haven't got one of these, uh, you should really consider uh, picking one up. It's pretty darn comfy. Uh, today, you'll notice that something is missing right here. Something else that some of you may or may not have known is there's a USB port on the side of the TFT. There's also a 12 volt port on the side of your tower. And underneath this little trapezoidal shape right here should be an accessory power wire, both um, accessory one and accessory two. Do you know how I found out about all that information? I read the owner's manual. Crazy, I know, but the owner's manual tells you where all this stuff is at. It's pretty neat. Anyhow, um, so some of you may remember from my Norden series, I did this $15 ram mount setup that's been pretty handy uh, on my Norden. <coughs> However, I wanted to give something new a try. Um, since the mount on this is a little bit different, I found a company called Moto Pumps that makes a GPS mount for a Garmin Zumo XT. So I had to buy an extra wiring harness, obviously, and the mount. Um, I will leave links in the description for all of this stuff. I think I got everything here on eBay. Um, this is the Garmin that I use on my Norden, so obviously I can have double use. Um, but anyhow, this is pretty straightforward. Um, there's an actual entrance in here to go down to that area there. I'm just going to use a, uh, like a fish tape to get in there. I think that's what my plan is. But uh, we basically have to remove the windshield and just work on it from that side right there. Uh, I'll do a little time lapse. Some of you have been complaining that um, it's really hard to see what's going on in the time lapse. Well, I designed my videos with time lapse specifically for YouTube because if you go down in the player bar on YouTube, you can select what speed you want to watch the video at. If I didn't do time lapse, it would take forever for my video to edit and it would take forever for the video to upload and it would take forever for people to get through the video. So the work that I do, I usually do it in time lapse. You can change the speed you watch the time lapse at if you really want to slow it down. You can do that with the player bar on YouTube. A lot of people don't know that, but now you do if you're watching this video. Anyhow, I digress. Let's get started.
All right, guys, we've got everything installed. Just kind of show you the design here. This is all aluminum, by the way. Pretty slick design. The base is all aluminum, and then this is uh, Delrin and aluminum up here. And it's got this really cool tensioner knob. Really nice mount. Uh, fits in there perfect after you remove the stock plastic plate that's sitting in there. The space holder. And uh, the install was fairly straightforward. Uh, down here, you're looking for accessory two. And the positive wire is the black and red, and the negative is the brown. So black and red is positive, and brown is negative. Accessory two, that's the one you want to use in there. If you come around here, turn the bike on, you'll see that everything powers up now when the ignition turns on. And then, of course, you can turn that off. And the Garmin has to be on for like 30 seconds before it'll recognize the power being shut off. So you can just tap it on the back there and it'll turn off. But yeah, pretty straightforward install. I really like the design. Um, this is adjustable. You can tilt it up or down to your liking, obviously. Um, I haven't ridden the bike yet with this on here, but uh, I'll probably adjust it tomorrow. Once again, I'm really having a lot of fun riding this bike. I've been commuting on it, trying to get to the 620 mile mark. Um, <clears throat> the first service that's gonna be done is about 60 or 70 miles from here. So I'm trying to time uh, my break in so that it will pass the 620 mile mark on my way down there to get that first service. They're gonna do the first service they're gonna calibrate the quick shifter because it's pretty notchy. And uh, there was one other thing that they were gonna do. Oh, unlock the heating. Um, and that'll be coming up in a future episode. I will uh, share all of that with you. It's the same place I went to to get the quick shifter activated on my uh, 390 adventure. And it took them like 20 minutes. So anyhow, I'm, I like the service that they did there, so I'm going to go back to them. But uh, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. As always, you're going to want to stay tuned. i got a few more goodies coming for the 790 Adventure. And then, of course, uh, we have something coming up this weekend for the LMTV. A small issue that I had um, driving out to the Dells, and I'll share that with you guys in that episode. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.